Hi, good Sunday afternoon to you. This is Brother Ben Catcherside. I wasn't planning on uh, saying anything today. I try to just give a little message every week, but I'm very, very concerned about something that I have seen. Uh, today, folks, if you don't mind, I'm just going to be speaking to people of my particular faith. I'm, I'm apostolic, Jesus named Pentecostal. And uh, I'm not condemning anybody else's beliefs. Uh, there are some things that a lot of people believe that are salvational that uh, I believe Jesus is our salvation. And that's, that's, that's just it. He's salvation. If you have him, you have salvation. If you have him, you have truth. Read your Bible. He says all this. But I'm talking primarily to people in uh, my uh, circle of friends and in my religious circle today, if you don't mind. I'm deeply disturbed at some of the things that I've been seeing on Facebook. I'm not going to call any names, mention any names at all. If you're guilty of this, you know who you are. We're living in, in critical times. And uh, this is not a time to be laying down your standards. It's not a time to be uh, looking for a good time. I mean... You know, we're all entitled to get out and have a little bit of fun every so often, and, and we're all entitled to a lot of things, you know, in, in Christ. I hear a lot of talk from, from certain people about how that God is using this uh, pandemic to uh, draw us all closer to Him and to bring about a Holy Ghost revival right from our living room and in front of our our uh, TVs and in front of our computers and uh, smartphones. Hogwash. Hogwash. The only way that revival is going to come is if we first of all repent. We well, repent of what, brother? Brother Ben, I'm. I'm I'm baptized in Jesus' name. I got the I spoke in tongues. Well, oh, bless your heart. A lot of people speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues don't save you. Having the Holy Ghost is what saves you. Repenting of your sins. Being baptized in water in Jesus' name. And all that is just a ritual if you don't re repent and believe. Well, how do I get the Holy Ghost then? Ask God for it and believe He's going to give it to you. You don't have to try to speak in tongues. He'll speak. He'll, he'll do it. If He said you have to speak in tongues. Well, then you'll speak in tongues. Don't worry about it. When I quit trying to speak in tongues, I started speaking in tongues. Praise the Lord. Amen. But that's another story. But what I am concerned so deeply about today is all of this sniping. Oh, I want to I step back for just a second and say this. God can send a revival to this nation. And whether we're sitting in our homes or whether we're at our church or whether we're driving down the street in our car. We start praying. We start laying, pushing that plate back. We repent of things that we're holding uh, in our hearts that we shouldn't, holding things in reserve, whether it's Moral, moral things, whether it's fantasies that we hide in our mind that we think nobody else knows about this. It's just me. God knows. I'm sure there's still things in me and I'm looking for them to get out of my life because they don't need to be there. God will send a revival 
And he'll send the prosperity that we need. But prosperity and money is not what it's about. It's about Jesus. It's about saving souls. It is about winning people for him. It's not about church attendance. It is not about how much money you put in. It's not about how much tithes you pay. It is about your standing with God. Get right with God. Well, that'll bring me. Well, how about this? That is revival. Tell people about Jesus. Invite them to your home. Bring them to your church. Evangelize the streets. Tell people. Get on this Facebook and talk to people about the Lord. Preach your heart out. When the media tells you that you can't do that on Facebook anymore, and they will. They will. They don't like this. Finally, brethren, having done all to stand, stand. Preach, pray. Revival will come. Oh, God's going to start a big mega church here somewhere. And uh, no, re revival is when God's people begin to pray for the Lord to have his way. When the saints begin to pray for the Lord to have his way, the glory of the Lord is coming down. Hallelujah. It's not about prosperity. It's not about money. If you've got it, you're blessed. God bless you. Use it. Enjoy it. But spend some of that for him. Spend some of that on the Lord. And now here's the other thing. All of this sniping about people that have chosen to have church services at their church Condemning a certain pastor because he didn't obey the rules. Maybe he should have done it out on the parking lot. Maybe you know, I don't know. I don't know the whole story there. But I do know the government was wrong telling him that he cannot have church and that he cannot preach. No, 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 no. Mr. Governor, you do not have that privilege. This is a Christian nation, whether you like it or not. Those of you that are in, in the church, you're sniping and putting him down. I heard one person even say that he was going to go to hell if he didn't, if he didn't obey the good of men. The apostles didn't. They had to hide to preach. Oh, yes, they did. Oh, yes, they did. Welcome to persecution, honey. The early church had services in high, they didn't have, maybe they had them somewhere, I don't know. I don't see any great cathedrals that were built back in the time of the apostles. They hid, went hid under bridges. They hid behind rocks. They went out in, into the woods. They went out into the hills and they preached the gospel. They preached it on the street in town. They got run out of town. And, and when the, when the, when the, uh, Powers that be got off their back. They come right back out and started preaching again. That was the early church. And yes, there were miracles and there were healings. And there was food and, and raiment and housing. All those things were provided. I don't see anywhere in there that I'm entitled to a mansion on this planet. And I know that makes some of you uh, prosperity people mad. I keep getting back on that. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm sorry that, that you don't like it and that you can't see the truth. But stop sniping at each other. I'm not sniping at you. If you're in Christ and you're living for him, you're saved. Have have mercy and compassion on your brother that that maybe doesn't think about some things just like you do. We need brethren of like faith. We snipe at each other over shoes, hair, facial hair, wedding bands, jewelry, having a TV in your home or not having a TV in your home. Those things are not salvation, honey. Jesus is your salvation. 
Now, that brother that you've been cutting down and tearing down because he did this or he did that, as long as he did not violate biblical pr principles. So they said, well, you have to obey the law of the land. The Bible says, pray for them that have the rule over you. Some, some, I've heard many Christians say this, that doesn't refer to the federal government. That refers to the church and the pastor. And the saints in the church. Some of the apostles were being persecuted and they were being told not to preach the gospel and they said, we ought to listen to God and not to man. When they forbid you to preach, they are wrong. When you preach, you are right. Having done all to stand, stand, therefore, stand. Quit sniping at each other, church. A house divided can't stand. Jesus Christ, our Messiah, himself said, a house divided cannot stand. It can't stand. People see us fighting over wedding rings and, and over, over little in, insignificant things like that. And they say, I don't want any part of that. Because all those people do is sniping at each other. Churches splitting over, over I've, I've heard of them uh, years ago, splitting over open-toed shoes. Just preach what the Bible says. Preach salvation. Preach Jesus. And Him crucified. That's your salvation. God bless you. I love everybody out I love all of my brethren. I love everybody out there that's listening to this. If you want to think I'm nuts, go ahead. It's your privilege. God bless you. If you think I'm wrong, pray for me. I'll certainly pray for you.